Do you ever rage at Splatoon? Do you ever slam death or break gaming equipment? Do you ever take a break from Splatoon 3? Raging at gaming can result in a D rank or ban and losing your friends and audience. Don't worry, you are not alone. Gaming doesn't have to be like this. What's going on, my fellow no longer demons? Memphis saw Sandra here, and today I'm gonna share my Splatoon 3 impressions and also my rage confession about Splatoon 3. Anyway, guys, before I get started with this chapter, make sure you follow me on YouTube because I don't use Twitch no more for streaming. And by the way, I will be streaming on YouTube for now on. Anyway guys, make sure you subscribe to Mantis of Sandra. Thank you for 50 subscribers or over 50 subscribers whatsoever. Anyways guys, follow me on TikTok and also follow me on YouTube because I don't I don't really use Twitch for streaming no more because since Twitch sucks. Anyways guys, let's get into it man. So Splatoon 3 been out over a month, and by the way, so far, I really love this game, 10 out of 10, despite these stupid haters on Splatoon 3, like, I don't give a shit no more, like, yeah, dude, I still enjoy Splatoon 3, so, so far, trying to grind my milestone to level 50 and higher, because, Seriously, um, I just don't want to quit Splatoon 3 already, despite a lot of rage on Splatoon 3. And also, I'll talk about the rage convention soon, though so for now on. Yeah, so, I did play both Turf War and freaking Anarchy Bouts. Yeah, Anarchy is so difficult, but, uh, yeah, it will keep you away from fucking Turf War. Like, oh, like, damn, dude. Anyways, guys, so... Yeah, so far, I still love this game. I'll play Private Bells, and also, maybe play some Salmon 1 Twitch Prince. I'm gonna talk about Salmon 1 later on in this video, guys. So, the story mode is very good, dude. And finally, there's a good story mode on Splatoon for Splatoon 3 story mode, man. Like, I'm not gonna spoil it for you, because I beat the game on Splatoon 3, and I beat the hardest level on Splatoon 3. I'm not going to spoil it for you guys, so make sure you beat the game on Splatoon 3 and the hardest level on Splatoon 3. Like, dude, it's still a good story mode, just like Oxo Expansion. Anyway guys, give story mode a try. So, good thing about Samurai, um, these good waves I like is a Mothership, a Tornado, a Mudmouth, and also, um, yeah. I'll talk about the negatives about Samurai later, so by the way, um, you have, well, if you play with friends and be Kokozuna, it will be better, folks, instead of, um, causing your ranks, and it's so impossible to get to executive, folks. Also, I'm gonna talk about Anarchy Bell, like, I think, um, the good thing, the rank up system is good, but there's no breaking down, like, well, I don't mind. I'm not sure Nintendo's gonna change this because, like, either if you get three losses in a row, um, you lose some points. Like, I'm not sure what's gonna change for this update because of this rank system. Well, so far the rank system is not that bad. I don't really care about it. If I get to rank S plus in the first time in my career as Splatoon, that could be good! I would be so goddamn excited! Like, holy fuck, dude. Yeah, it is fun and frustrating at the same time, but, uh, just not blame teammates, guys, because I need to talk about later in this video for Rage Confession. So, I'm gonna talk about Splatfest. Yes, Deep Cut music is so banging awesome. Like, by the way, I was Team Gear, so I won as Team Gear, so people are gonna say, Oh my god, it's fucking rigged! Oh my god! 
Uh, how the fuck we lost as Team Grub? Oh my god, how am I second place at Team Fawn for Big Man Swing? Eh. Like, dude, calm the fuck down, dude. Like, god damn it, are you fucking kidding me, man? Just calm the fuck down on Twitter. As you guys know, Twitter fucking sucks. And I don't want anything to do with Twitter. Like, <laughs> yeah, I don't use social media. Like, I don't give a shit. So, by the way, I don't, I don't give a shit if if it's rigged or not. Like, like, dude, come on, shut up. Just play the goddamn game. Anyways, guys, sorry about being harsh, guys. So the splat fist is pretty good. And I gotta tell about Tricard Turfor. The match making need be fixed. There will be a lot of feedback on Nintendo because I got three Tricolor Turfors until I got a second place win because of a grub one as beating the defending team as Team Fun. Like, oh dude, what the hell man? Well hopefully Spot Fix gets balance and changes. So by the way, um I need to wait till it changes. Like seriously, Nintendo, twenty dollars per year folks. Anyways guys, I'm gonna talk about my race convention any minute. Any I need any 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 now. So I have a confession to make about my Splatoon Rage, especially Gamer Rage. So by the way, um, I'm gonna talk about my history of my Splatoon Rage and make sure um, do not harass me or troll me because I don't condone that and I will block you from my channel or ban you from my chat on my stream guys. Anyways guys. Um, I'm just gonna talk about it because I know people rage at video games like Gamer Rage or and Splatoon Rage. So anyways guys, I'm just gonna talk about my Gamer Rage convention guys. Anyways, let's get into it. So I am autistic man and also I am the adult which is I am 27 years old and I will be in the 30s in 2025. And also, I've been playing Splatoon for 7 years, folks. And I've been playing Splatoon since October 22nd, 2015 on Splatoon 1 on a Wii U. So yeah, I had fun with Splatoon. So by the way, guys. So. So by the way, um, I ever quit games like Destiny and Call of Duty, Fortnite. And also, I quit Splatoon 2 since July 2022. So, by the way, yeah, because I rage at Splatoon 2 a lot. Like, I block teammates, I get mad at teammates by blaming teammates. I get mad at Salmon Run, I get mad at Ranked. And also, I literally block teammates also. I get really mad at annoying things on Splatoon 3, like they want to shark me, then I get killed. And also, I get pissed off by calling a player no skill, like no skill players, guys. And also, I get mad at solo queue on Splatoon 2. Yeah, and also especially Splatoon 3, like. Yeah, I just think it feel like I take the game seriously and also I feel like Splatoon is just too competitive. Like dude, not only is it competitive, it is fun and freaking glory folks. And by the way, like while I'm playing Splatoon, like literally yeah, I slammed deaths and also I broke my Nintendo Switch Pro Controller from Rage. I had my Nintendo Switch Pro Controller since 2019, and now, in 2022, Rift Controller. My controller battery was not working, not charging, and my right joystick gets stuck all the time. So I can't use my Nintendo Switch Pro Controller no more until I get a new controller, which is, I don't want to pay $70 from goddamn Nintendo, like, that's bullshit, dude. Like, really? Just like a DualSense from a PS5. Like, just like you break controllers from Elden Ring, man. Like, fuck. Like, I gotta tell you something. I played Destiny and I raged my ass off. 
Also, I throw controllers a lot to the ground because how much, how much PvP sucks on Destiny. And by the way, dude, I can't even play PvP on Destiny. Like, literally, I did rage at Destiny also. Like, holy fucking shit. Like, damn. And also, I did quit Destiny a year ago. I'm planning on returning to Destiny in 2023 or 2024. I am not sure about it because... I'm not part of the Destiny community also. And also, back in Splatoon 2, I had no friends to play with. And also, I quit DeviantArt two years ago because how much DeviantArt is so cursed and toxic. Dude, this is how I become a no longer Deviant. And by the way, that's why I quit DeviantArt two years ago in 9-11. And I took a year off from the Splatoon community. Well, that makes me feel better, like... Seriously, yeah, fuck social media, man. Honestly, fuck social media, okay? Yeah, this is why I only use Discord, guys. I haven't developed my Discord server lately, so... I really hope I get my chance because... I gotta make sure I have proper security for my Discord servers from... These stupid hate raiders! And also people from Twitter who put hate and negativity. Like, seriously! Let me think positive for that. Like, holy damn. Also, I am waiting for the better social media from Elon Musk, man. Like, like, goodness gracious. The drama, the toxicity, and also the hate and politics need to freaking stop, man. Also, I'm a freaking split Splatuber now, and I have over 50 subscribers, for Christ's sake, man. So yeah, I'm gonna explain why I dislike Saturn on, on solo. Uh, because uh, one of my teammates just want to be dumb and go stupid and always fucking die. And by the way, I'm the only one surviving. Like, seriously, I have played Destiny 2 Strikes before. And also, I have survived on Destiny before. Like, on Saturn one of my teammates just die and then cause me to die and I get pissed the fuck off. And by the way, cause me to demote my professional, which is very dumb and absurd. Like, are you goddamn kidding? Like, I hope I get friends to play with, so I I, I just don't want to go toxic and get pissed off and one of my friends and viewers and my chat and my subscribers folks anyways anyways to my freaking fans um i want to get awards because i've been doing my salmon run job for four years man and also for god's sake if you're a freaking salmon run player that is good and know how to play salmon run you can Make sure you play with me, and you are welcome to join me on my stream on Salmon Run, guys. Because I don't want to deal with solo queue teammates on Salmon Run. I know it's the same in Turf War team, Turf War solo queue, but sometimes, God, not playing teammates on ranked and freaking Turf War folks and Splatfest because I gotta try to stop doing that, folks. For the sake of my mental and emotional health, uh, I seriously need help how to reduce gamer rage like Splatoon and also other video games like Fortnite. So by the way guys, I need to reduce the rage guys. I don't want to be like these freaking raging gamers like Part 12 or Della Elite Death and Psycooly folks. And by the way, I just want to just think positive and have fun. Either with friends, man, so I can try to chill out as I can. Because, dude, this shit is not easy. And also, 2022 is so hard. And worst year ever. And by the way, um, understand that I am autistic. And I am the adult. And I gotta be mature. Because I am 27 years old. So, by the way, please, if you help me reduce my rage, that could be appreciated. That could be appreciated. 
do not be a dick. And also, don't be an asshole. Be mature. Be positive. And be respectful to Mrs. Sosandra, guys. Anyways, guys. Depends on my, about my stream time. But hell, gaming doesn't have to be like this. I know, just like um, angry Call of Duty players get pissed off at Modern Warfare 2 from the beta. Which is, I did play the beta a few matches. But um, I'm not I'm not gonna freaking hate Call of Duty Modern Warfare for that because I've been out of Call of Duty for two years. And I hated Fortnite in the past. Listen, I don't hate Splatoon. I don't compare to Call of Duty and Overwatch and Fortnite. Just like Nintendo. Because I watched Negus Corner for that. Like, fuck. Uh, yeah, fuck, man. I'm here to entertain my fellow no longer deviants on stream and my videos with fails and rage compilation, multi-kill clips, and sometimes some highlights from Splatfest or reaching S or A on Splatoon 3, folks. But hell, I want to have fun. I want to dominate. I am relentless. I am the fell no longer, I mean, deviant. I am a ruthless, aggressive, relentless Splatoon player. I've been playing Splatoon since 2015. And by the way, um, I'm not going to be a perfect pro, guys. Also, when I get a new pro controller, guys, I will be superior once again until 2023 and beyond. As long as my Switch is not dead. By the way, by the way, I will not quit Splatoon 3. I don't want to quit Splatoon 3. Um, if my friends and my chat and my subscriber need me to play Splatoon 3, I'll be here. Same as Sand Run and Anarchy Open and League and League Battles, guys. Anyways, guys, here's a co conclusion. Before I get a conclusion, I need to control my blood pressure also for my sake of my health and my sake of it, man. In conclusion, I talk about my impressions and rage confession on Splatoon 3, guys. If you guys enjoy the video, make sure you leave a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe to Menthes or Sandra. Follow me on TikTok. I stream on YouTube from now on for Splatoon 3. Anyways, guys. This is Method Saw Sandra. No longer deviant. I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day. And also, be mature. And also, be polite. And be a great fellow, no longer deviant, my Method Saw Sandra fans. Anyways, guys, enjoy your rest of your day. Good night. Yeah.